I think that when people were predicting the future in the twenty, uh, predicting what the twenty first century would be like in the twentieth century, I think a lot of the theories um, missed out a lot of things. They thought that because the technology was available, that everyone would have it, and that's not necessarily true. The technology is available for a lot of things now. For instance, flying cars, but there are good reasons why people don't have them, and there's it's not just the techno technological advancements that you need to look at it's also the price of these technological advancements how much will it cost to have flying cars how much will it cost to um, change the rail systems to a maglev um, system rather than a conventional system and for instance going to space well yes we have the technology to go to space we perhaps have the technology to go to Mars we 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 pretty much have the technology to um, live on the moon and mine it, but why aren't we doing this? Well, it's because there's a lot of money involved in these things that just isn't really invested in. With the moon, um, it's a, it's going to be a situation where the first person to go there um, is going to be the only person for a while. But once that person is seen to be the uh, successful in their um, exploitation of the moon um, everyone will be going there it will be a bit like not sure uh, I can't think of an example but it, it's gonna be very much like that if you look at a lot of the 20th century sci-fi films where you have um, uh, stuff like back to the future where people are predict well not so much back to the future more like Blade Runner where you've got um, these predictions of the future of what what it will be like in a few years time and I think what they got wrong in uh, especially Blade Runner is that the the inside of the house the technology that was on the inside of buildings hadn't improved a lot if you look at when he's zooming in on something either like the screen's still quite thick it, it's not a TFT or a, a bio screen uh, as the technology is coming available now um, and so the inside of the houses weren't that much more technologically advanced than today's uh, than the houses were back then but what ad had advanced a lot is the buildings and of course this is different to how real life works in real life the buildings take a long time to um, build and upgrade and although buildings have got uh, bigger and we do have some buildings that for instance the Burj Dubai which have the technology that they predicted for buildings they it hasn't been used in general cities you don't have cities of buildings with the average height of the Burj Dubai uh, or sorry the Burj uh, 